Um, but he has he's done his job keeping them keeping the guys up, putting the the, the right uh, rotations in, you know, trust in, in, and really trusting in, in his guys who have come through in 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 this NBA Finals. And the main two guys who, who we were worried about, Pope and Danny Green. Were they going to be able to knock down those shots? And, and they have, man. You got to you got to give those guys a lot of credit. And you know, just the, the, the Lakers, Lakers bench in general. You know, they're 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 a bit streaky because again, they don't have that third guy. They have a rotation of the third guy. So it might be Dwight Howard one night, and he's got twelve and nine, and he's the boost that they need. Or then it might be Rondo. He's got 16 and 10. Or it might be Kuzman. He can get you 15, 16 points off the bench. But, you know, it's been those two guys, Danny Green and, and, and Caldwell Pope, that have really made it easier for the Lakers to dominate this series. Because, again, if those guys aren't hot and they're, making, and they're not making the threes that they're, that they're taking, games will look a little bit closer. And, and, and if, it, if it's close, somebody could sneak one in. You know, so they've been, you know, Frank Vogel has done a, a really good job. So definitely want to give give him his credit. Um, you know, we saw that Miami zone work pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Again, in the last two rounds, um, you know, they lost they lost two to Boston. They only lost one to, to Milwaukee. So, you know, we saw that that zone looking deadly. And then, you know, once you mix the, the pieces with that, with the right coaching, that thing is broken down. And um and 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 now we see Lakers up 2-0 and it's looking like they're gonna sweep the finals. And listen, I'm okay with that. I'll take I'll take a sweep. You know what? Let my man LeBron get his fourth in. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, I'll be the first to tell you, like I always say, I don't want my team to to win with because of injuries or because of, because of some outside reason. You know, I like I always want both teams to be at full strength because I don't want to hear the excuses that, you know, because people will come up with anything. Oh, well, you know, they lost because I mean, even though we know in this situation, it was already looking done with the full Miami Heat team in. And and, you know, the Lakers, are, I think they're just a better team regardless. But, you know, like let's say last year, for example, you know, do we give we give Kawhi credit because he got the job done, but. Do, does anyone feel like if uh, Clay and Kevin Durant are playing for Golden State last se- season in the finals that Toronto beats that team as good as as Kawhi Kawhi was? Um, no, they 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 would not have beat Golden State. I yeah. mean, I think I think what we saw in Game Five, which was really the only game KD played in that series, and he only played like a quarter and a half, we saw how much better Golden State was than the Raptors. Yeah. Just from that quarter and a half. And then they end up winning game five with Clay also getting hurt as well in the, in the fourth quarter of that game. Yeah. So I think we know that, but I, I'm always of the thinking of, look, you, you play who's in front of you, bro. Like from, from a fan perspective, I would have loved to see the Lakers and Clippers in a seven game series to go to the finals, because in my mind, they were the best two teams in basketball this year, but we yeah. didn't get that. And so I'm not going to knock the Lakers for getting to the finals because the Lakers have to play who's in front of them. Yeah. If, if you guys want to see me play this team, but that team can't win to get there, that's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't, I don't, to me, the injuries, the, you know, the upsets in the playoffs, that's all part of the game. You still play who's in front of you. This does not diminish anything the Lakers are doing just because Miami is not at full strength. That's not the Lakers fault. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if God forbid, if, if Braun were to tweak his ankle in game three and has to miss two games, nobody's going to say, Oh, 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 Miami shouldn't be in this series because Braun tweaked his ankle. No, we're going to say, well, that's what it is. They got AD and AD got to step up. And, you know, the, the quote unquote term next man up is true. The next guy got to step up and be ready to play. That's why you build the team. So for, you know, you know for the people that feel that way. Eric, Eric, you're, 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 you're sensible, you're logical, <laughs> and you're not a hater. So, you know what I mean? So when you say that, it's like, all right, we should all kind of get that. That that's what it is, but again, you have guys that are haters or guys that play favorites throughout the throughout the media that are like you know all oh, like, this. Like we talk, we talking Skip Bayless. Well, uh, we, that's we, that's we the biggest hater, right? But but listen, every in every sport, in every sport, every championship, 
there's always that one moment that's like, man, if that had gone differently, they probably don't win it. And that's why so many times the best team doesn't always win the championship because there, there are those little moments. We know for a fact the start of the Golden State dynasty was helped by injuries along the way. They didn't, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have to go through that San Antonio team with Kawhi Leonard because he was out. You know, they had little injuries along the way. The Clippers were probably better than Golden State, that first Golden State championship. Not to mention, they get to the finals and Kyrie gets hurt in game one when Kevin Love's already out. That's the start of their dynasty, right? Oh, we but, can go back even further with because the, they played Portland and Nurkic wasn't there. Right. That's what I'm so, saying. Like, so they did have a... There's right. There's always every team who wins. So it was no different for Toronto last year. Toronto got one of the luckiest bounces on a shot ever. Right. If if they don't get that bounce against Philly, the, the course of history may be completely different because maybe Philly goes to a championship. Maybe Jimmy Butler stays in Philly with Embiid and Simmons. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about those guys completely different. Their legacy now is completely different. You know yep. what I'm saying? Absolutely so, right. Um, Let's not forget when when Boston first put together their big three of KG, Ray Allen, and Paul Pierce, they went seven games in the first round as the number one seed against the eighth seeded Atlanta Hawks team. Had they lost that game, we talk about their legacy differently. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But they they got the breaks. And then when they got to the finals, they faced a Laker team that wasn't completely healthy either. Nobody ever talks about that. But they weren't completely healthy because Gasol was dealing with some injuries and the Celtics beat them. The next time they played, the Lakers beat the Celtics, but but nobody remembers that Kendrick Perkins got hurt in that series and Kendrick Perkins was their starting center. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's always through the course of history, there's always going to be that moment. But listen, winners win, point blank period. Yeah. Winners win. And I, I hate, you know, I hate that it's happening in Miami the way it's happening, but I don't think there were many people who thought Miami could win this series even at full strength. So let's yeah. not act as if the injuries are changing what we thought about the series. If you had the Lakers winning in six and now the injuries happen and the Lakers win in five, what's the big difference? You still had the Lakers winning the series. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So uh, to me, it, it is what it is. We got to congratulate the team that's out there playing and they got to handle their business with whoever's in front of them. They, the Lakers could easily have a letdown right now and lose a couple games in a row. We're not going to say, oh, Miami's injured. We're going to say, wow, the Lakers really blew that opportunity to beat a team that was wounded. Yeah, exa exactly. Um, real, really quick, cause, cause I, I gotta discuss somebody else who's been doing a little bit of hate and not named Skip Bayless. But we saw in Game Two that uh, ABC did not air the national anthem, um, which, I mean, at this point, you know, what I'm saying with everything that's that's been 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 going on, um, I th I think that. I may have I may have wanted to see it just because that just gives us an extra look at the players, especially with the players wearing the vote shirts before the start of, of, of I guess like the last round of the playoffs. They've been they've been doing the, the vote shirts. Um, so I would have liked to, to see that, even though we still get to see it on the sidelines from the guys that aren't in the game. But. You know what I'm saying, but I, it, it, ABC, I guess they 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 are making somewhat of a stance, but and they just like we're not just not gonna air it. Um, what, what were your thoughts on that? Um, I was a little surprised, and and the reason I noticed it was because there was kind of a the the pregame was kind of late in what they were doing because there was a point where um, as they were still talking about their picks for the night, they immediately cut to Jamie Foxx and Angela Bassett. Um, who did the monologue to, to start the game out. So, you know, I don't know if it was a matter of just time restrictions and they wanted to, this monologue was that important where they wanted to show that instead of the national anthem. I don't think ABC has given any true explanation as to what happened as far as time-wise. Did, did the Jimmy Kimball show go too late? And maybe that's why you couldn't show it. I don't know. But nonetheless, we know it was played in the arena. We just yeah. still have not figured out why ABC did not show it yesterday. Yeah. Well, listen, we, we, unless, unless ABC actually tells us why, we might not ever know, but, you know. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans, Real Talk.